In this week's Photoshop tutorial, I'll teach you how to do a simple brisk color effect in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me over at RitaPro.com, the channel where you get to learn everything about photography and Photoshop in weekly quick tutorials. So in this week's Photoshop episode, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do a simple brisk color effect. We're gonna work with some selective color adjustment layers, some curves. We're also gonna work with black and white color adjustments in order to get some more contrast, but we'll work a bit with the blending options. Now, guys, there will also be no tutorial on Thursday for another light talk because we're heading into the deep bush. There's no internet around, so we will not be able to upload anything. But hang in there, new tutorials will follow very soon. So yeah, enough of the talking, let's get right away into the tutorial. Okay, so over in Photoshop, in our right-hand side here in the layers palette, you guys get to see already the finished result. So this is again the before and after, before and after. So a little brisk color effect here in Photoshop. Okay, so let's get right away started with this. Obviously this image is already a neutral looking image, so it has been uh, color graded a little bit already. But I want to add another pop onto this and also a bit more contrast so we get to that reddish afternoon sunlight. Okay, so first step that I'll do is just play a bit with my selective color in the black tones. So let's head all the way up to adjustments. We're gonna go to selective color adjustment layer and right away we're gonna switch our colors here into the black tones. Now, I only want to tweak them a little bit with the cyan, maybe magentas a little bit, also yellows down a little bit in order to get more reds out of this. So first of all, the cyan, I'll push this up maybe like a plus 10 or 11. Okay, let's go like a plus 13 here. That looks good. What I also do in between is always switch the visibility here on and off just to see the before and after again. Okay, let's also turn this effect off. We can see actually the right effect that we're getting here. So a little bit more greens, a little bit less reds. Let's also head over to the magenta tones. I'm going to push those down a bit. Like a minus 7 or 8. That's good. Then also yellows completely down. I'm going to push it all the way down and then slowly bring it back again. Until, yeah, somewhere around here, minus 10, minus 11. So we're flattening those a little bit. Okay, blacks also, obviously, we want to push those up. A bit more contrast, something like a plus 9 or 10 there. Just a very subtle move there. Okay, let's have a look before and after, before and after. And obviously you can also go here to the neutral tones and also play a little bit more in the neutral tones, but I did not do this for this brisk color effect. Our second step would be now going over to creating a high contrast with a blue filter. So for that, I'm going to go back to adjustments. I'm going to go here to black and white filter. And I'm going to choose, first of all, high contrast blue filter over here. Okay, so obviously this looks completely weird now. So we have to change our blending option with this. I'm not going to tweak at all the adjustments here. I've chosen just to go with the normal preset high contrast blue filter. So first of all, I'll switch this to either soft light or overlay. Depends on how hard you want the effect to be. I want it on overlay to be a little bit harder. But also remember, I'm still going to tweak down my opacity. Something to like 25 up to 30. Let's actually go with 30. Okay, accept that. And let's have a look before and after. And if you want the effect to be even stronger, just push up your opacity here in order to get more contrast. I'm going to stick with 30 because I'm still going to add a little bit of a small curves adjustment layer in order to get some more uh, blacks out of this. Okay, we're missing a lot of red still. So what I want to do is actually go down here to the adjustment layers and create a solid color adjustment layer. Now with this, I'm also going to pick a new color. I'm going to go with something like red and let me type in the values. You guys can also find the values down here. So it's going to be 6B and 4 times 0. Okay, nice dark red. I'm going to hit OK. And first of all, change this obviously to a new color blending option. So let's go all the way to color and we're going to tweak the opacity again to just 10%. Okay, let's have a look before and after, so it's a bit more reddish. We can also push this up a little bit more, say up to 15, 16, so before and after. And if you want more reds, obviously push your opacities up a little bit. Okay, and for my final step now, I'm gonna go back to adjustments once again. I'm gonna go to the curves adjustment layer and also just tweak my curves slightly in the highlights. Just very subtle, so I wanna get a bit of a pop there. Also tweaking down the curve a bit, like so, okay. And yeah, let's have a look before 
and after, before and after. And the highlights are a little bit too strong. Let me take them down just a little bit again. Okay, and that's basically the fact that I wanted to show already. So let's select all of the groups here and the layers. Let's press Command G. I'm also working with the Mac, so if you're a Windows person, please press Control when I say Command. Okay, I'm going to rename this to Effect 2. And let's have a look again with our before and after. So this is the before and after, before and after. Guys, so that is basically it again for creating the brisk color effect in Photoshop. Super simple, super easy and a very short technique to do. Also, if you want to have more contrast, just remember to push the opacity up a little bit again on your black and white adjustment layer. So yeah, if you like me and just can't get enough of Photoshop, click on your screen right now to subscribe. We send out free Photoshop and photography tutorials every single week. Guys, and we love to stay in touch, so if you have any feedback for us, leave it down below in the comment section or send us your tutorial request right away to tutorials at RitaPro.com. Thanks again guys for watching, I'll catch you all in the next tutorial. And you are still here, so that means you want some more tutorials. Yes, then you wait no longer. You just have a look here on the right hand side, there's some more color effects just for you bundled right here. So go ahead and click right now. Yes, always wanted to say that. Just click away. Okay, see ya!